the Salvation Army assists more than four and a half million people during the Thanksgiving and Christmas season. Captain McPhee's kettle and cadet Amelia's bell launched a tradition that has spread not just through the United States, but across the world. Kettles are now used in Korea, Japan, Chile, and many European countries. Everywhere, public contributions to Salvation Army kettles enable the organization to continue its year-round efforts, helping those who would otherwise be forgotten. While Christmas shopping this year, you will definitely come across the famous red bucket and the sound of a gentle bell ringing outside your favorite retail store. This friendly call for donations during the Christmas season can be recognized as none other than the Salvation Army. The Salvation Army is one of the most recognized charities and nonprofits in the world, and its origins are just as devout as its ministry. Created by William Booth of Nottingham, England, and his wife Catherine, the Christian charitable organization, the Salvation Army, is known for being one of the world's largest donors of humanitarian aid. With social aid, they've reached millions, especially in the United States and the UK. One of the most recognizable deeds of the organization during the Christmas season would be the iconic red kettle and the smiling volunteers stationed for fundraising outside retail stores and public places across the world. In the U.S., over 25,000 volunteers ring a bell requesting your Christmas spirit to drop a few coins into the kettle as you go about your holiday shopping. But this Red Kettle Army didn't begin until this month in history, in 1891. In San Francisco, Salvation Army Captain Joseph McPhee was distraught because so many poor individuals in San Francisco were going hungry. During the holiday season that year, he resolved to provide a free Christmas dinner for the destitute and poverty-stricken. He only had one major hurdle to overcome, funding the project. As McPhee lay awake at night, he worried and prayed about how he would be able to find the funds to fulfill his commitment of feeding 1,000 of the city's poorest individuals on Christmas. As McPhee pondered the issue, he thought back to his sailor days in Liverpool. He remembered seeing a large black iron kettle set up on the dock into which passerbys tossed a coin or two to help the poor. The idea struck him. Would it work in San Francisco? Would the public be just as kind as the sailors in Liverpool? The next day, Captain McPhee went down to Oakland Ferry Landing at the foot of Market Street. He secured permission from the authorities to place a large iron cooking pot at the Oakland Ferry Landing. He found a way to secure the pot so that it was hanging in a conspicuous position so that all those going to and from the ferry boats would see it. Beside the pot, he placed a sign that read, Keep the pot boiling. McPhee stood by and encouraged passersby to drop coins in the pot to help the poor. That day, to his surprise, hundreds of people passed the pot and donated a little bit of money each. As the pot filled, so did the faith of McPhee. Soon, he had enough money to feed the needy people of San Francisco at Christmas. The story of McPhee's fundraising success spread throughout the Salvation Army. And six years later, the Red Kettle idea swept the country from San Francisco to Boston. In 1897, the combined nationwide effort resulted in 150,000 Christmas dinners for the needy. But it wasn't until the turn of the century that the Army introduced the iconic sound that would go alongside the Red Kettle. In 1900, Salvation Army Officer Cadet Amelia Kunkel was a kettle worker in New York City. At just 16 years old, in her navy blue uniform, red ribbon trimmed bonnet and skirt scraping the sidewalk, she waited patiently for donations. Later, in an interview about the story, Amelia recalled that it was a very cold, damp day as she waited near Wall Street by the L with her assigned black kettle. She said the L brought droves of businessmen to and from the financial district. Some contributed to the Salvation Army kettle, most just passed by. In those days, the average donation was small, just a nickel or a dime, sometimes a quarter, occasionally a dollar. In 1900, a good afternoon would bring in donations totaling $18. Amelia said, most days, I was disappointed that people ignored me and my kettle. As the story goes, one day, Amelia complained to her supervisor, Major Chadwell, an administrator. Amelia felt that just standing there wasn't garnering enough donations. So Major Chadwell suggested Amelia do something. 
His first suggestion was that she find a stick and bang on the kettle to draw attention. Amelia didn't like that idea. When she said no, he replied, well then, Cadet Kunkel, you'll certainly solve that problem all by yourself before long. The next day, Amelia was shopping in a nearby Woolworths five and dime store. She found just what she was looking for, a little bell. As she picked it up, the little bell gave a little jingle. She bought the bell for just 10 cents. That day, Amelia rang the bell by her kettle, and more people stopped. She greeted each contribution with a cheery, God bless you, and Merry Christmas, and it changed the Salvation Army forever. Her idea spread like wildfire. Soon, cadets around the country were ringing bells, raising funds for the Salvation Army's Christmas dinner. In 1901, kettle contributions in New York City provided funds for the first mammoth sit-down dinner in Madison Square Garden, a custom that continued for many years. Today in the U.S., the Salvation Army assists more than 4.5 million people during the Thanksgiving and Christmas season. Captain McPhee's kettle and cadet Amelia's bell launched a tradition that has spread not just through the United States, but across the world. Kettles are now used in Korea, Japan, Chile, and many European countries. Everywhere, public contributions to Salvation Army kettles enable the organization to continue its year-round efforts, helping those who would otherwise be forgotten. In its milestone 125th year, the Red Kettle Campaign set a new national fundraising record. Some 25,000 bell ringers raised $149.6 million for the campaign, with all money going to work directly in the community where it was raised. This month, bell ringers of all ages and backgrounds will continue to brave the cold and the crowds at Christmas time, united in their resolve to raise money and help the less fortunate.